you think considering going to university to study artificial intelligence as a master's course? You might have been thinking of going maybe for, I don't know, universities like Imperial or Oxford or Cambridge just because of the prestige. However, not necessarily everybody unfortunately fits into that bubble of having already got a first from their degree. Um, some people get a still very respectable to one, even from, you know, computer science degrees. The course I'm going to be talking about today is incredibly special and is actually really, really popular. It's from the University of Queen Mary. It's their MSc in Artificial Intelligence. And in, in this video, I'm going to give my top five tips on how you can make the best application. Now my first tip out of five tips on getting onto this course is make sure you know what academic stream you want to follow if you were to happen to study this course. This course at the University of Queen Mary is incredibly unique for its creative applications across the entirety of industry. This includes vision and robotics, which it does what it says on the tin you'll be learning in that sense actually how to engage in robotics from an artificial intelligence perspective, um, as well as taking modules like neuroscience, maybe to perhaps understand the mechanisms or the foundations of how neural networks may work. That is a default stream if you don't specify anything else. So don't worry if you haven't necessarily made any choices. If you haven't made a choice of stream, you will be doing that one. The other two streams of interest are the natural language processing, as well as the agents and creativity streams that like offer really, really different focuses. The natural language processing stream, for instance, you might want to go with that stream if you were to look at computational linguistics, which is all to do with how do, or how does rather, computers acquire human language. That's essentially the crux of natural language processing. Um, and it's been applied to lots of things today, like uh, voice to text AI, which we have in all of our phones. So you know you're going to be going into an industry with a lot of work if you're following that stream. The final stream that is on this list I mentioned before is agents and creativity. Now, this is a particularly fun one if you want to go into game design or if you want to go into music technology, but you want to have a degree that actually has a bit more worth than a game design degree or a music tech technology degree. It's so versatile, but do make sure you know what stream you're going for and you make some really, really good arguments for why you should be studying that stream at uni. That in turn says to me that you really want to do this course at Queen Mary. Moving on to tip number two, if you are looking to apply for this course, if you haven't done so already, you want to make sure that you are developing your technical and programming skills wherever you can. And I'll be saying this even if you've already done a computer science degree uh, in many different aspects, always look for ways to improve on your ability to program. So for instance, you may, if you're working in Python, want to already develop some experience in working with the building of neural networks in uh, TensorFlow or PyTorch. Those are really, really two common Python libraries or Python packages that you will probably be using on a lot of different occasions on a course like this. You also want to maybe get some experience working with Scikit-Learn, which helps uh, a lot with the scalability with the linear algebra aspects of courses like these. And actually, I'm just naming a few examples here, but already, if you can mention a few of these things in your personal statement for this course, you will be that much stronger in making your application. If you haven't necessarily done much computing before, you might instead want to take some courses uh, online that deal maybe with some introductory courses in uh, Python or Julia, which is a new and upcoming language, or has been for the last few years. Um, or at C Sharp, for instance, if you want to go into um, like the modeling of games, you might want to take a course online just to pressure up your skill um, sets surrounding those languages. That will make it easier for you to be able to sort of talk about your passions for why, again, you want to do this degree and why you want to go into a certain role. Remember that Queen Mary 
even though they're not necessarily as competitive as other universities, they're very much driven towards or drawn towards students that have really ambitious goals, people who really want to make something of themselves. And the easiest way to do that is through evidence in seeing that you are proactive with your learning and your development of technical and programming skills. Moving on to tip number three, make sure you have relevant work or internship experience. Queen Mary is actually really, really um, positive when it comes to people who already worked on internships, particularly with a computer science application. Um, I actually had a student who applied to Queen Mary for a very similar course. It was actually for um, an MSc in a computer science there. And she had done quite a few different internships as part of her undergraduate degree. Um, she was very, very proactive. She managed to not necessarily do internships in always in her subject. I think one of her internships was actually to do with fashion uh, in Bahrain, which was really, really out there. What that does, even if it doesn't necessarily point towards her abilities in computer science, is it really shows off the personality of the student. It helps in understanding the character of the, the individual going for courses like these. And again, remember, Queen Mary are very much character driven. It's even better though, if you've already done some internships where you have actively maybe done some game design or you've already worked on some natural language processing. And um, so really, really do make sure you're looking out for those experiences, especially if you're already at university and you just started your second year, because that summer between second and third year is when most internships are going to be happening and they do get advertised to students early. So be proactive in looking for those as well as opportunities to engage in research projects with other students. It's also a great way to be able to say that you've built up a GitHub repository of different work that you might be able to sort of include as a link in your personal statement for the admissions team to be able to look at to see actually what kind of stuff you've worked on. And that just goes to show that evidence speaks much louder than words. So make sure you get that internship and if possible, research experience to top that off. Tip number four is make sure that when it comes to the personal statement, that it is strong. Now the pressure in creating a good personal statement for Queen Mary isn't as high as the pressure that you might be facing for other universities, especially those in London. But you do want to make sure that you are aspiring to Queen Mary's unique attributes. You might want to mention the fact that you're appreciative of the flexibility of the courses that they have on offer. You might want to talk about any particular modules of interest with the module coding codes included even, as well as the facilities that they provide you with in learning all of these new skills. You may also want to mention um, that is actually got very good connections perhaps to other industries, but the only way you would really know what is going to make Queen Mary work for you is if you go onto their website or their department and you look at what are the unique selling points for that university. Sometimes universities give them to you. Queen Mary is certainly one of those universities that are very generous with them. So make sure that when you're writing the personal statement, two things you're gonna do. You gotta show that you are unique, that you're ambitious, and you've also got to show that you've done the work in understanding why Queen Mary is so great. And my final tip for this video and I'm going to say this for pretty much every single uh, postgraduate course, is make sure that your references are strong. And this is something that if you don't have a lot of people skills, something you really do have to work on because you have to facilitate good connections with your referees for them to write about you in a way that they sound like they have known you for a while and they think you're a really, really strong candidate. Now, the referees that Queen Mary asked for, they're not necessarily as fussy as other universities. I would at the very least be looking for one academic and one professional reference, but the more the merrier. And referees do, or intended referees rather, do prefer to be contacted or asked first whether they can be a referee for you um, before you claim on the application form that they are indeed your referee. So do give them some notice. 
they do have to write some very good things about you. They want to be able to say the best about you, so you need to provide them with the right information. They need to talk about your technical experience, how proactive you've been during your degree, maybe even if you were working with your dissertation supervisor and he happens to be your intended referee, what you did as part of your dissertation. Um, referees and references are the first things that universities really look at engaging the strength of a character. It saves them a lot of time in the middle of the admissions process. So you want to make sure that this is strong above everything else. Do that double check with Queen Mary exactly what they are looking for in a candidate and just be clued in with the referees that they know this too. It might be that you actually have to meet with them in person, sit down with them for a coffee, and just explain what your ambitions are and where you want to go. But make sure that you're on the same page and that you give all of your intended referees due notice. So I very much hope this video has been useful to you if you're looking to apply for Queen Mary to study the MSc in Artificial Intelligence. If you found all this information useful and you would like to get a little bit more information from us, then don't be afraid to get in contact with us using the information that you can find on screen right now. And just in case we don't hear from you, best of luck with your application.